the Shadow Mane, first introduced in Genesis Part 2, and it's one of the creatures currently found in the pre-release map of Fjordor. Perhaps the most overpowered creature ever released in the Ark universe, with its ability to dismount a player from a large distance, and even multiple players at the same time in PvP. There's little point in fighting them, boasting natural armour and a pack bonus, they're the ultimate solo and PvP and boss fighting creature. They can jump as well as any flyer can cover the map in the game, and swim as well as any creature in the ocean. These are the complete guides to Ark's creatures and everything you need to know about taming them and their uses. And we continue with the Shadow Mane. These formidable creatures are found on Genesis Part 2, and as of now, they're currently found on the pre-release map of Fjordor. They're a passive tame, which hunt by night and sleep by day. And the preferred food are live fish, which must be caught in fish baskets, a primitive ingram first introduced in Aberration. I have two methods of taming these creatures to show you, but before we jump into that, let's talk about the fishing. The weight of the fish is the only thing that affects the Shadow Mane's taming effectiveness, and the variety of fish makes no difference. It's recommended that you leave the piranha alone, as they tend to eat more baskets than catch fish. But the most important part of this is to find the fish with a weight of 2.0 or higher. Depending on the server settings and the day and night cycle timer, you may lose all taming effectiveness if you haven't tamed them by the following evening. So the best tactic is to use the best quality fish, reducing the amount of feeds and the time it takes. When it comes to gathering the fish you're going to need to tame these creatures, the simplest way is to place a cage over the fish you wish to catch. Then place a basket next to it and wait for the prompt to catch it. All other methods of gathering fish are pretty redundant, so don't waste your time chasing them. You can replenish the timer of the filled fish basket by placing them on your toolbar and standing in a body of water. This is useful to remember when you've identified the shadow mane you wish to tame. But I recommend cryopoding your caught fish as the process of catching enough fish to do this can take some time. Simply release your fish from the basket in a small body of water and then cryopod them for later on. You can simply recapture a fish in the basket when you're ready to start the taming process. Once you've identified the shadow mane you wish to tame, simply sneak up behind it with the basket in your last slot. I recommend wearing a full set of ghillie. Using bug repellent and cactus broth will hide you even better but I've found that it is unnecessary as long as you approach the shadow mane from behind and crouch in when you get to around the 10 meter mark. Immediately after feeding the shadow mane it will disappear using its cloaking ability. The problem is with this method is I've found it's difficult to see which way the creature's facing for its subsequent feeds. So the definitive way to tame the creature is to simply trap it. Wildcard has somewhat nerved the creature since its release so its ability to jump and teleport in the wild has been removed. You can simply pick the creature up if you have access to a Quetzal, and a four square trap is all you need. It's small enough to see the creature's tail and the correct side to approach it. The stone walls need to be too high at least to break the creature's view. You can build a simple set of stairs so you can lead the creature into the trap, but as I stated before, if you have access to a Quetzal, then you can simply pick them up. The Shadow Mane will of course be aggroed once you've placed it in the trap, so simply go out of render distance for a couple of minutes and wait for it to calm down. When it's calm and lying down, simply crouch and find the feeding point. It can be a little finicky to find the prompt to feed it, but as long as the trap is four square, it will show eventually. Upon feeding it, simply remain crouched and walk away until the next time it's ready to feed. If you build the trap in four squares, you should be able to see its tail sticking out within the trap. The Shadow Mane's one of the few creatures in the game that has two different variants for the male and female. The female's unique bonus is to be able to cloak all friendly creatures in a short radius, making it an ideal mount to be able to cloak creatures for a sneak ambush in PvP. And the male's roaring ability recovers stamina and torpidity. The Shadow Mane is capable of tackling most bosses in the game with ease, and it's so overpowered it makes everything else redundant in both PvP and PvE. As excited as I was to see these creatures enter the game and perhaps replace my favourite mount, the Fire Collio, which I might add is still not allowed into boss arenas, but the Shadow Mane breaks both PvE and PvP in one foul swoop. And of course for those interested in the lore of Ark, will know that Rockwell made this particular creature himself. Ironic that he makes something more powerful than himself that can easily be tamed passively 
So is Free Strike's wildcard breaking PvE, PvP and the lore of Ark. This creature needs a major nerf as soon as possible, but until then, this creature is all you need to beat the game. And that's everything you need to know about the Shadow Main, the most overpowered creature in Ark that's capable of doing everything, jack of all and master of all. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.